everybody, it's Margaret, and today I'm bringing you a bit of a share video. Um, not quite an unboxing, not quite a haul, but um, as I was going through, I, I let you guys know that I'm planning on doing a video about um, Rose Points, which I am planning on shooting right after this one uh, to post tomorrow. But as I was going through looking for more pieces of Rose Point, I was just pulling out really cool stuff um, from the boxes and I thought that I would do a bit of a uh, show and tell of what I've got and what I'm <clears throat> planning on making uh, videos on next. So I guess I'll jump right into it. As I've <clears throat> let you know, I've been going through lots of my grandmother's boxes trying to get those sorted out this year and she was a china painter and a collector and my great grandmother was also a china painter and i wanted to share a couple of pieces that are my grandmother's which will kind of give you an idea of why it's so hard for me to go through her things and even think about getting rid of some of them because literally i have box upon box upon box upon box of her and my great grandmother's work that is just amazing. So I pulled two pieces and I shared them on my Facebook page this morning too, Texas Gal Treasures. So this is a bowl and my mom has already claimed, but this is a bowl that she painted. It's a big, I don't know, like a potpourri type bowl, I don't, but it's just beautiful. I mean, she loved getting really detailed work in there. She loved lots of, you know, gold. <clears throat> so that's one. And then this one, let me grab it. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful. This is not quite her normal style. She liked painting a lot of like flowers and bugs and things, but this is a, a box, like a jewelry box that I'm going to keep. But I just thought it was so pretty little scene. And then the sides have this kind of cobbled look to it with little insets of pictures. Um, so I just thought that was really, really pretty. And, um, so I may, I may be showing you more of her things and my great-grandmother's things as we go along um, in some of the other videos <clears throat> because they're just so gorgeous and I just don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I just don't know. Um, but like I was telling you guys, I'm planning on doing videos, um, sort of tutorial, not exactly tutorials, but having it's like a learn along, you know, like a sing along, but a learn along, um, so that I'm learning about things and I can share that information with you so that if you see something out there, you'll know that it's not just something you, somebody bought at Pottery Barn or something. So, um, tomorrow I'm going to upload the video about Rose Point. That's what this is. You can kind of see it. So I have two pieces I dug and dug, and my mom told me, Margaret, there's tons of rose points. She's got tons of it. But for the moment, I could only find two pieces of it. So we'll go with that for now. <clears throat> we just will. And, but anyway, like I was saying, um, as I was digging, I just kept finding one cool thing after another. And so I thought, since I'm trying not to buy quite as much because I have so much to go through, um, I would start showing you some of the things that I am pulling out. Um, so it's kind of like a haul, but not a haul. It sounds weird to call it a haul. Um, <clears throat> so one of the things that I pulled out was a set of these fairy plates. Um, and these are done by Heinrich Germany. And I, like I said, I don't know very much about them yet because I haven't done research. But there's a whole set of them, with these little fairies. Um, and as I'm doing this, if you see something that you think, hey, do that as one of the um, let's learn about it videos, then there's something going on with the hair, then that gives me a good idea of what to do. So there's a whole bunch of these little fairy plates and she had them hanging. You see little hooks on the back. So <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I haven't done research on a lot of this stuff, but I just wanted to share kind of what I've been going through. I haven't done a lot of hauls lately. Um, I don't know, I feel weird calling it a haul because it's not quite a haul, but just a show and tell. Um, so those are things that I'm going to have to do some research on. And then there's some more things over here. Um, she had a thimble collection, and this is part of it. So I'll show you some of these. <clears throat> and I'm going to have to also do some research on some of these thimbles. So here's a little, looks like silver plate, or silver. I'll have to do, you know, I haven't looked. And then there's this one that's got an interesting scene. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of reflecting off the light. So there's those ones. Some that are going to fall all over the place. 
You know, I mean, for, for all I know, they just had sentimental value to her. But then again, I f keep finding things that I think are just like, oh, that's just a thing. But they end up being something really special. So I thought I would do a little research because a lot of these have markings on them. And they may just be the sizes. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. Here's another one. And, and they may just, you know, have been sentimental. Maybe, you know, one of her little girlfriends growing up gave her the thimble or... And then there are some that have pictures on them, like souvenir type. And then there's a bunch that are also definitely souvenir, like porcelain ones. <laughs> yeah, this one's fine bone china made in England. It's got flowers on it. Here's another with flowers. And let's see, this one's... I'm going to put a couple on so I can show you two at a time. That one's got pansies, looks like, and deer, and trees. So, and, and like I said, I don't know if these are, you know, would, would they be better for me to... Scotland, this one, I think this one might be ivory or bone. Um, it's got elephants on it. So I'm not sure. I'll have to figure out for sure on that one. Is it ivory? Is it bone? And then there's rules... There's rules. <clears throat> and some more little. This one's bisque, hand painted, doesn't have a signature. Um, look at me, just showing you. I'm going to pop them on my fingers. Oh, that one's kind of cool. Oh, that one's got two in there. So here's some more some glare, but look at that one with the seagull on it. That's kind of cool. There's the. This one's really pretty as well. So I will have to do my, a little bit of research. Look at this one. It's like a little petite point or something. And this red, that's like, as your husband says, fix my socks one more time, woman. You neck him with that, with that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> let, me go, let me go retrieve it. Maybe. I'm caught up my earring. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. So yeah, your husband comes in and says, darn my socks one more time. And you're like, you get him with that. No. Um, so <laughs> this is another one that looks like it might have been hand painted. Looks like it was hand painted. And then, so yeah, I don't know. Like, are you interested in me telling you all about um, thimbles? And finding out information on thimbles because I've got enough here to do some research. I'm going to have to do it anyway. <clears throat> and uh, seeing what, what they might be worth. And then these are not thimbles. They are like little teeny candle holders. Let me show you. Look at those. And these are hand painted as well. I'm trying to see if there's a signature. Because some of them kind of look like her style. Like this looks like my grandmother's style of painting, but I don't see her name on there. But that doesn't, I mean, she usually signed her work, so. But that looks, anyway, that looks like her style. She loved gold and stuff. Oh, that one is signed, but it's not hers. That's one of her painting buddies. Oh, that one's signed. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm telling you, it's you and me right now. We're doing it together. So yeah, these are teeny tiny little, you put little candles in them. Am I not? I think this is true because look, there's candle wax in that one. So those are cool. Again, and like I said, if you know what some of these things are that I'm just showing, like I don't know what. Here's another. This is a thimble, but not. Oh, this is Avon, 1983. Hmm, interesting. So those are a few. That's that's it for the thimbles. And then I found this for like a teeny little, there must have been a little figure in there or maybe, maybe she had this lady in there. I think that's not right. Maybe, maybe it is. No, she wouldn't fit. Maybe she had one of her thimbles in this. I can't remember, but it's so tiny. It's like a little teeny tiny display case. And <clears throat> some of the dolls, you know, she's, she had tons and tons of dolls in her collection. These are little clay figures, but I've got to figure out what country they're from. They may not really be worth anything but they were in there so I thought okay I'm gonna show them they're in the box 
And here's a chimney sweep. Some of his bristles have, have come off as I was looking at him. They were coming off. And it's one of those, you open it, and then inside he's got his bucket for cleaning the chimneys. So, and the, the price is still on there from when she bought it, so I can't see what brand it is. Maybe I can peel it off. Maybe I can peel it off and see. Let me see. I try not to. No. Hmm. There's something pressed in the bottom. You can see that. But the other sticker that tells who he is is coming off. So I'll just leave it for now until I can be a little more careful. And then the next bunch, well, before I do those, let me just try to stick. Here's a little plate, you know, just sort of a little trinket tray. A friend of hers, I guess, painted. It's signed. And then another, this one is Limoges. And it looks like a little piano, sort of, but not. Three-legged, and it opens. It's pretty little blue trinket box. And a, I'm trying to, try to stick all the same stuff together, but I, it's kind of hard. And then a teeny little Demitasse type mug. Isn't that pretty? There's tons of porcelain, you guys. So, I don't know. I think she must have picked that up at an antique mall or something because it looks like a booth number. Alrighty. Now, if this is a bust, you guys tell me. This is a bust. I don't want to see this kind of videos. Or if you think it's cool, awesome. So this was also in there, which I don't know anything about. And I know she's got some more stuff that looks like this. Handmade something Austin D... No, Austria DW. I can't read. Looks like it says email, but I don't know if that's right. Maybe you can tell me. So that's that. But look at the, the detail on that. Isn't that pretty? Um, so this is something else. And it's it doesn't feel like... It's not porcelain, it's glass, glass. You know, it feels like it's glass, glass. Glass, glass, glass. Um, okay, so next up are these, um, there's perfume type bottles. And then these, um, this is not quite a, well, maybe it is. Good golly, that just came off the top, that was weird. Is this like a perfume type bottle or a, somebody out there knows, because it's got this really intricate stopper. Maybe it's for like a, paste type cologne or maybe it's for something else I don't know and then this little top came off but there's I have no idea okay so this one is a mystery and I have a feeling that I have a friend out there who knows look that part comes off what is that or was that not supposed to come off here's the bottom right now it says made in Germany and then the price let's see if I can see anything else it's a, but then the, the sticker on the bottom says made in Greece. But then this one says made in Germ. No, it says made in Greece. Let's learn to read this morning. Maybe we should do a, a Tom Phonics instead. Okay, made in Greece. Good golly. All right, so look at that. And it's got these kind of dolphins and sea creatures, little snails and sea slugs and stuff on it. Sea anemones. That's really pretty. So, but I don't know what it is. So... This is another thing. This is why we're doing this, right? Because I pull out all my grandmother's cool stuff and then I just don't know what it is. And I have to research it and figure out, how do I even list this? You know, what is this? Here's another one. Another one, but it's smaller. Look at this kind of seahorse creature. Let's see if it has the same kind of stopper. Yes. It has the same kind of stopper with the ridges. Does the top come off? Oh, it does. Oh, oh look, perfume. Okay, okay, so it's something perfumey, but then what's the deal with the bottom? Does this wick this perfume up or something? I don't know. You have to help me if you know. If not, I'm going to be doing some research. So some more perfume bottle type things we've got here. It's got these gold chain on them and beads and little scarabs, <clears throat> which leads me to think that it might be from Egypt. She traveled a lot. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it had perfume in it. It still has a bit of a scent. Um, and one of the chains is kind of coming off right there. So I wonder if I can fix that. But uh, yeah, she, she, traveled. She, she traveled a lot. She was an English teacher, and she would go with a lot of her English teacher friends to travel. And so here's another perfume bottle. This one screws off like so. There may have been perfume in there at one time. 
And again, I don't know anything about it, but you can see it kind of looks like it's inlaid with like abalone or oyster shell and little seed beads and sparkly sparklies. Let's take a look at the bottom again. The bottom says Reese. Let me see if there's anything under that. Thank you so much for labeling that for me, grandmother. Okay. So, yeah, it says grease on the bottom. Isn't that really pretty? Let me see. Um, <clears throat> and the price, looks like she paid for it, was $56.95. But who knows when that was? I don't know. And there's a couple more perfume bottles I wanted to show you. This one looks like blown glass. But look, the top is broken off. I mean, I guess would somebody still want to, you think somebody would still get it for the, this part and maybe replace the, the stopper? I don't know. You know, I guess I could take it and use it as a little bud vase because it's really pretty. I'm trying to see, what do you think? I don't know that that's hand blown, but maybe it is. Look at the, the ridges along here. I think it is. I don't know, but I don't know a whole lot about glass work. But that doesn't look manufactured, those little detailing right there. <clears throat> and then here's another perfume bottle. This one is a purpley um, glass. And then it's got, I don't know, it's very strange, like pewter metal. They almost look like, um, not ginkgo leaves, but you know the little whirligig seeds that you drop and they just spin, spin, spin? They kind of look like that, don't they? I have no idea what they are, though. And then it's... No. She might add perfume in there. It smells kind of nice. Okay, so that's another one. And here's another one. This one says made in Taiwan. Pretty purpley glass again with some detailing. And this screws off there. Seriously, I'm just showing you what I've got because I don't know what some of it is and I'm going to have to look it up and we could do a look up together sometime or it's kind of like just showing you what I'm finding. She has two of these and I remember she had, she had these on her dresser. So, And these have the perfume stick in there and there's also, it looks like the vial that the perfume was going to go in has fallen down in there. So I don't think you could really use it. Because um, I think the vial was hooked on or attached. I don't know if you can see it in there. There's like a glass tube kind of on the bottom down there. But that is that. There's not really any markings. In uh, Yeah. Let me see the other one. If the other. There you go. This one has the glass tube still attached inside. I don't know if you can tell that there's a tube in there. But again, um, yeah, I, just, I know absolutely nothing about this. So I'm just showing it to you. There it is. And the last, make sure that's the last one I tell you. It's the last. The last item is a little trinket box. Looks like so. And it opens like so. So these are, these are some of the things that I've pulled out. Um, of a box to share with you so I could give you a bit of a, a rundown of what I'm going, what I'm looking at. I want to say what I'm going through because it makes it sound like it's a, I'm going through this, but some of the things that I'm, you know, working on finding out about. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I had a lot of dead air there, but if you know anything about some of the items that you saw, let me know. Or if you are interested in maybe me doing a video on thimbles or something like that that you have seen that'll give me a good idea of kind of the direction to go if not I'm sure I'll find another item that I can do research on I've got tons in there so anyway thanks so much for watching you guys and I yeah I'm gonna keep showing you some of the I don't know the word to use because I don't like to say it's a haul because it's not really a haul it's not an unboxing but just to share you know, um, of what I am discovering. So yeah, um, stay tuned for the Rose Point video, what I've learned about it and what you could look out for if you are out and about looking 
at things and you come across a piece, you'll know what it is and maybe about what it might be worth. Oh, that went to sleep. That was weird. Okay, hopefully it didn't black out on you too. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be wearing the same shirt. I'm, I'm recording it right after this, so it's not like I'm wearing the same clothes two days in a row if I post it tomorrow. So don't, you know, don't worry about that. I'm, I'm taking care of it. <laughs> okay, you guys, um, make sure you like the video and subscribe. Find me over on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. Um, and if you're a pet lover, this is a little bit off the topic, but if, you're, if you follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures, You'll, sometimes I'll post like cute cat videos and things like that. And I went ahead and just created another Facebook page for it. I mean, I'll probably still keep sharing it on Texas Gal Treasures because I like to make people smile. And if it makes me smile, and I'm hoping it makes you smile. So, but I've also created another page called Amazon Pet Deals that I'm going to be putting there too. Because I'm always looking for pet, you know, stuff. So when I'm on Amazon, if I find links and stuff, I'm sharing it over on my Amazon Pet Deals page. And I'll share cute animal videos there too. Maybe it needs a different title. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. But if you're interested, I'll put the link down in the bottom. Um, okay. And that's it. So make sure you go out and enjoy yourselves, you guys. And I'll see you around. See you soon. Bye.